Hey guys, Christoph the Polish Geek here and I'm going to talk about Metroid Prime Remastered. Yes, this game is excellent. Yeah, I'm a fan of Metroid, although I never played any of the Prime Trilogy actually. Yeah, like my favorite Metroid game is probably Super Metroid, although this very much is giving it a run for its money. It's that good. And I played Metroid Fusion, it was my very first experience with Metroid. I played Metroid Fusion on Game Boy Advance. And I did play the most modern Metroid Dread. Yeah, and Super Metroid, as I said, I've played like... Like two years ago when I bought it on my Super Nintendo because... It was one of those Super Nintendo games I missed out on, sadly, because it's such an amazing game. But I never played Metroid Prime. I mean, I never owned a GameCube. Like, when I went to my boarding school in Rhode Island, in the United States in Rhode Island, some of the best years of my life, we had a GameCube and we could play on the weekends, and I did play some GameCube games, but no one ever brought Metroid Prime. So, yeah. I only, when I got a Wii, I did actually bought Metroid Prime Trilogy and tried playing it, but the... Wii controller kind of, I couldn't really handle it, like, yeah, Wii controller, like, wasn't very playable for me, so I quickly quit. But, I was hearing so many good things about Metroid Prime, that when I heard that this remaster is coming out on Nintendo Switch, I got really excited and was thinking, finally, how will get a chance to play this supposedly awesome game. And, wouldn't you know it, this game is amazing, like, it's very comparable to Super Metroid that I just talked about. I don't know which of those two I like more, I guess I'll go with Super Metroid slightly more, but Metroid Rem Prime Remastered is super amazing, and it really is giving it a run for its money, because it's basically similar to Super Metroid, but as a third-person shooter, and also... It basically dethroned Doom as my first favorite first person shooter because for the longest time Doom or its sequel Doom Eternal were my favorite first person shooters but now I think it's actually Metroid Prime so let's talk about this awesome game the very opening of the game is already amazing like I love the visuals in space here and the planet, and yeah, I l really very much am a huge fan of those visuals. They already look really good on the GameCube. Yeah, I haven't played on the GameCube, as you know, but I've seen some of the parts and I already thought it looked really good. But here, the visuals have just been upgraded so wonderfully, and I love it so much. And then you start playing as Samus, and you're in on for an amazing adventure with her. And I love the... The first person shooter gameplay in 3D. Yes, just like Super Metroid was a side scroller, this is very much Super Metroid, but in 3D in a first person shooter style. And it's so amazing. I love that so much. Like in this game, like in Super Metroid, here in Metroid Prime. Samus is all alone. There is literally nobody to help her. Oh, I love the look of Samus' eyes whenever she goes on the elevator. Like, it's so cute, I love that. And yeah, you're basically all alone on the... on the alien planet and there is literally nobody but you, or Samus for that matter, and you're all by yourself. You totally feel what Samus is going through. Like, it's nobody to help her, but she by herself. And she has to fight all those dangerous alien creatures that try to kill her. And by the fact that this game is from a first-person perspective was just perfect. Because it totally, it totally makes you see it from Samus' perspective very much. And... There are many puzzles in the game too, and solving them is lots of fun actually. 
yeah, like sometimes you really wonder what to do, but then you basically deduce it from all the sources you have. And yeah, figuring it out is all so much fun. And you also collect various different items and you upgrade yourself throughout the game, just like in Super Metroid, because as I already said a couple of times, Metroid Prime is almost basically Super Metroid as a 3D first person shooter. Yeah, and then you have the map that basically helps you navigate the area and helps you figure out where you are. This is all just perfect. And the cutscenes in this game are magnificent. Yeah, I am a huge fan of the cutscenes from the game and they so add so much to the story. The various different upgrades you find throughout the map and the game are really helpful and really awesome. Like you, for example, among other things, find thermal visor that helps you see, extra, gives you x-ray vision and helps you see some hidden objects that you wouldn't be able to find otherwise. And this is really awesome. Finding all those hidden objects that you basically need to get, to get in the game to further proceed it's really challenging, but really rewarding and so much worth it and really fun too, to how you have to often solve puzzles or use all the resources you already have to figure out where some new upgrade can be hidden. This is literally wicked fun and I love that so much. <laughs> and also among the abilities you have is you can turn into a morph ball. That's an ability that actually originally was in Super Metroid and made it here to Metroid Prime. And here I think it's even cooler than it is in Super Metroid because here the game occasionally turns into a 3D side scroller when you turn into a ball. And yeah, and also sometimes when you turn into a ball, you actually, it, you actually do it to solve a puzzle because sometimes something is hidden and the only way you can get to it is by turning into a morph ball and then like and then you can use like the abilities you can do with the morph ball to get to a place you'd otherwise be, you wouldn't otherwise be able to get to and figure it out <laughs> And the enemy designs in the game are also pretty awesome. Like, I love the enemy designs in this game. And finding them and shooting at them is also lots of fun. It's not really shooting like in a classical first-person shooter. Like, you can just mindlessly shoot through enemies. No. Here, you often tend to actually have to figure out which weapon works best on a specific enemy. And in some cases, you might not even have found the actual weapon you need to defeat a specific enemy and instead you just have to run away and maybe hopefully later you will find an upgrade that will help you defeat those enemies. And also in other cases you cannot just shoot at them randomly, you have to find their weak spot. While any weapon could work on some of those enemies, you specifically have to find their weak spot, which... <laughs> I love doing that. I actually love sometimes attacking an enemy's weak spot instead of just mindlessly. It requires so much more skill, but it's all so much fun and so awesome. I love that. My favorite weapon in the game is the Ice Beam. Maybe that's because probably I have a thing for freezing things. Yeah, I love freezing enemies. So, yeah, Ice Beam is my favorite weapon from the game. And it's also the weapon that was in Super Metroid.
like I already said, and I will say it again, as much as I have preference for some weapons, I also love that in that game you actually have to change weapons depending on the enemies. Well, there are some enemies where all weapons work on them, a lot of the time you actually have to switch between weapons depending which one will better work on a specific enemy. <laughs> and also, another thing I love in, in Metroid Prime is the platforming. The platforming here is excellent because this isn't just a shooter game. This is very much a platformer as much as a first person shooter and I simply love the platforming in this game. Like jumping on the platforms feels so natural and so realistic. I love that so much. And it requires some skill but it's just wicked awesome. The world and environments in this game are really amazing and I really love them. And I also am a huge fan of the music that often accompanies you in the world. Let's listen to the immersive music just for a while. Okay, yeah. And so yeah, the environments are very immersive and I just love how you can, for example, go underwater after you get a gravity suit, of course. And you can just walk around the water like you'd walk on land. <laughs> and also I love how interconnected this whole world is. Like, as I said, the environments are very diverse and very different from each other. Like you see a snowy planet here. But then you can find an elevator and you get transported to a very different sort of environment. We'll see, like, there, like, see, a lava, like you're inside a volcano. Yeah, this is so different from what we've just been before, yet it's all very much interconnected. And I love that. Also, whenever you wander around the world of Metroid Prime, you often feel like you're lost and you don't know where to go next or what should you do. So yeah, and you feel really lucky when you either find a save point or... And yeah, you ended up here soon and sooner or later you're about to find your ship. In other words, the very thing you started about. We are, as I said, we are very much like Samus. We are basically exploring and learning about this alien planet. The boss battles are really cool. Like, like many of them involve a puzzle to just defeat them. While the first boss of the game is very, very simple and easy, like every other boss after that requires a puzzle to defeat them and most of those puzzles are really cool and really fun to figure out actually. And not just bosses, like the game also has some mini bosses as well that also are required with a puzzle. Yeah, the boss battles in this game are really great. Maybe they're not quite as epic as the From Software games or God of War games, but again, Metroid boss battles are in the priority in Metroid. They're certainly a huge, huge highlight, and I'm glad that this game has some awesome boss battles, but they're not the top priority. And still, the most awesome boss was by far in this game the final boss, although for the sake of no spoilers, for the sake of wanting you to experience that boss for yourself, I did not include the, an eclipse with the final boss. But again, the boss battles in this game are really cool. And like this boss, for example, where you have to shoot at its weak spots. <laughs> yeah. I love the boss battles of Metroid Prime. And again, as you probably can tell from my things generally I talk about video games, I love boss battles. And the final thing I will also mention, 
like that I love about Metroid Prime. Although, admittedly, this is something that I love about every single Metroid game. So it's not really unique to Metroid Prime. Actually, as I already said, it's very much, like, pretty much universal for every Metroid game. But I'll have to say it anyway. I love Samus. I love Samus. She's an awesome character. And she's literally one of my favorite protagonists in all of video games. I just love Samus so much. She's so attractive and badass cool. I really, really love Samus. So it is always real pleasure to play as her and explore the planet and discover many of the secrets with her and accompany her on her journey as well as blast through various different enemies. Metroid Prime Remastered is a fantastic game. And now I totally see what people who played the game back in the day when it came out were saying when they say it's such an amazing game. Like some people say it's the best Metroid game. And yeah, like as I said, I think I slightly prefer Super Metroid. But I think there could only be days where I actually prefer this game because it's a fantastic game. And honestly, I'm really now hoping Metroid Prime 2 Echoes and Metroid Prime 3 also get a Switch Remaster. So Nintendo, please take it from one of your fans. Yes, because I'm a Nintendo fan. Please remaster Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3. Because you did a, such an amazing job with the first Metroid Prime. So please and please remaster the next two Metroid Prime games. Because these games totally deserve it. Like, and as for Metroid Prime 4, that, that still there is not much information about. Well, there is no hurry for me at least. I really want more Metroid Prime, but since I haven't played 2 or 3, I'm really hoping now Nintendo remasters Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3. Yeah, that's what I'm really hoping for. And maybe once I beat those two, then I will really be looking forward to Metroid Prime 4. But for now, Nintendo, please do us all a favor and remaster Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3, because... I just want my more Metroid Prime. Okay guys, thank you for checking out this video. Press the like button, please subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you later, bye!